2018 Chevy Cruze hatchback. And this is just a uh, real quick uh, overview because I had to take the car back. Um, it's a rental review, I guess you could call it. Um, this is what the interior looks like. Hey, it's pretty plain Jane. Um, not thrilled with this touch screen though. This thing stays bright even when the dash dims at night when it goes into night mode. And there's an option to turn it off. I guess with this rental, you probably can't override the settings on that. Um, has the start stop. That's not fun. I hate that. And of course, again, that is something that you can't turn off either. Um, other than that, that's the dash. Um, you get some, I guess, pretty decent features here. You can go through, get your average uh, economy, your fuel range, uh, you know, vehicle speed, timers. Um, you can go through all the different things you see with the oil life and stuff. It gives you a lot of information in the uh, vehicle information center. You get these little eco uh, screens on there also. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this and again I'm stressed for time so it does have uh, you can do Android and iPhone uh, hookup on it and you know it's a rental everybody's paired to the phone with it there's like 30 different names in there of people that have paired with the car and have left their names and stuff in there um, got a power port you got a uh, USB and auxiliary port here there is no CD on this if there is I guess comment on where the hell you'd put it in there but um, when you go into the options here I don't see it on the display there so that's that there's cup holders there's a pocket right here that stick stuff you can stick stuff in there there's a little sort of pocket back here you can stick stuff there's a pocket on the door um, leather seats here pretty decent leg room uh, pretty decent leg room for the driver um, has a manual uh, brake uh, parking brake there's a little pocket right here you got one down here same thing on that door there's a pocket there you can stick stuff in it um, let's go outside take a quick walk around the car um, visors have mirrors in them hey hi um, one star passenger airbag um, no sunroof so it's a rental they don't give you sunroofs on rentals I don't think well not in this car they don't um, yeah before anybody says that you can dim it here this only works for the uh, dash lights that down there only works for these guys the dash lights doesn't control the radio I tried it that was annoying because it's like somebody has a uh, bright, bright light bulb on the dash and at any time you touch any of these controls or the air conditioning that lights back up and you got to go through three screens to get to it to turn it off so let's see I'll show you how to do that you go to home you go to settings and you go to I believe it's under radio you gotta scroll no it's not radio sorry um, where is it? Radio. Oh, it's still three screens. So if you're, let's say you're in audio, you got to go home, settings, and you got to go three taps down, and then you turn off the display. So it's like five different things you got to go through. And say, for instance, if you go to push the mute button, it lights back up. And then you're stuck sitting with this screen blaring at you um, while you're driving. All right, I'll get out. I'll take a quick walk around it. And then I got to go get this car back so I can get my car back. I am not really thrilled with this thing. I mean, it's nice for a people mover, but... And it's probably going to be some wind noise on this. Sorry about that. I don't have my regular setup. Um, I did... Yeah, yeah. Quiet you. Sport alloy wheels. It's bright white. Uh, manual folding mirrors. You got to fold them yourselves. Four door. There's the 
back seat, pretty spacious. The uh, seats fold down. Oh, Chevy badge in there. Is it going to beep again? Let me know. There's no, nope, okay, no beeps this time. There's the other alloy wheel. It's a cruise premier. Another thing that I don't like is this. If it snows, you got snow up to here, you got to dig your hands through all of this to open the back hatch. But there's your storage room. And that's a lot of car that you don't have any kind of internal space. I'm going to go digging around in here. Uh, of course, when it's a rental, nobody's gentle. They didn't clean the back out, so I wanted to stick something back here. And that was just dirty. But, eh. It, it got me from point A to point B. But, yeah, there's that. That's the back hatch. And everybody's right-handed, so your grab handle's on the right-hand side. There's none on the left. So, hope you're right-handed. Let's back up. We'll take a quick walk around it. it has a backup camera. A little sport. There's your dolphin fin. Little sport wheels. And before anybody starts commenting on how dirty the car is, uh, it's a rental. Oh, wow. It's flickering. I don't see the flicker, but that's where I need. It, it's not really flickering in real life. It's just the uh, camera rig, but that's kind of cool. And it has a nice aggressive look to it, but eh. And I'd probably want to go with a sport model or something. And this is just like, eh. Well, there you go. If you have any questions on this Chevy Cruze Premier, I'm going to have to put you to a Chevy dealer to look them up. And I'm not going to pop the hood. I don't have time. Sorry. But at least I wanted to have you experience my experience. Uh, here, let's see. Put it in reverse. There's your uh, backup camera. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, fuel economy was good on this. Um, of course, um, when I got it, it was a little, it was like uh, three quarters of a tank. I ran it to just a little bit past a half a tank uh, in the three days that I had it. Um, technically three and a half days. And I put five or five gallons back in it which is like about 11 bucks. So five gallons brought me back to where you see it now. So it doesn't take uh, much to fill it up, like 10, $15 probably would have filled it all the way up. And that was from a half a tank. So say $30 maybe to fill the tank completely on E. And you get Let's see, 282 miles if you're very economical of driving with the fuel that's in there now. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, if you want me to do a more, because I'm probably going to end up renting another car soon. If I do and you want me to do a more detailed review on that vehicle that I rent, uh, let me know. Leave uh, comments down below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumb down if you didn't. Let me know why you did or didn't like the video. And if you want to see more like this, I will actually make an effort to make them. Thanks. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.